Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Evers once again, back at it with another video. So for today's video, I'm going to be showcasing some skins that look like they're really expensive, but they're actually quite cheap. So after watching this video, you'll be able to build yourself an expensive looking loadout of your choice. Before we get into the video, the winner of the last giveaway was Jika766. As you can see here, I've sent him the trade offer, and in today's video, I'm giving away this M4 Cyber Security in field tested. So for a chance to win this skin, just make sure you like the video and subscribe, comment your trade link as shown on the screen, and I'll roll the winner in seven days. Good luck to all those taking part in the giveaway. Let's get right into the video. I just want to quickly take my time to say that if I sound a bit different or a bit less energetic, it's because I've got tonsillitis. I'm pretty ill at the moment. But, you know, I'm still trying. So for the first cheap skin that looks expensive, we have the AWP Exoskeleton from the new Broken Fan Case. The skin has a dope 3D inlay pattern, similar to that of the AWP Gungnir, but this skin is almost selling a thousand times cheaper. Another unique feature we see on this skin is a nice pearlescent effect, which goes from a light blue to a very dark purple. Overall, I have to say this is probably one of the best looking budget skins in the game. Up next we have the Org Carved Jade. This is a new emerald themed skin from one of the new Operation collections. I have to say, this skin looks expensive mainly because it shares the exact same pattern as the emerald knives, which are thousands of dollars. If we compare it to the M4A1S Blue Phosphor, it's also got a very similar Doppler finish to it. So yeah, this skin definitely looks expensive and it's relatively cheap. For the M4A4 we have the Global Offensive, also a new skin from one of the new Operation Collections. I wouldn't say this skin looks too expensive, but it definitely looks more expensive than it's priced at. It's got a really clean and simple design to it, and I think it looks really good. As an alternative to that skin, we have a much older one, the Evil Daimyo. Usually, skins with bright red on them like this one would be quite expensive, but you can actually pick one up for a few dollars, so it definitely looks more expensive than it's worth. Up next, we have the Gucci Louis Vuitton AK. Nah, no, only joking. This is an AK Baroque Purple. It actually looks like a designer brand pattern to it. So, you know, just the fact that it's got like a designer clothing look to it, it definitely looks expensive, and it's very cheap at the same time. For the M4A1S, we have one of my favourite looking skins, the Decimator. This skin is really bright and colourful, and it never gets old for me. In terms of design and colours, it's definitely up there with some of the really expensive skins. This skin is very popular due to its chromatic shift effect. This is the SG Parallax. Considering it's one of the first skins in the game to have this 3D effect applied to it, you would imagine it's quite expensive. However, you can pick one up for under a dollar. Next up, we have quite a strange skin. This is the P250 X-Ray. This skin was made in conjunction with the French gambling laws, where they have to use the X-Ray scanner instead of opening cases, and you can get this skin in a zero float value if you open the package. With the new Operation Collections, one of the most expensive skins was the AK X-Ray, so for this reason, it makes sense that the P250 looks expensive. However, if you're not a fan of this, we have the P250 Franklin. It doesn't cost very much, and it's covered in dollar bills, so what else can I say really? Next up, we have the Dual Berettas Twin Turbo. These are quite an iconic set of skins because they are the favourite of Turbo Motion Z, if you know who that guy is. They're really clean, they're really colourful, and at the same time they look hella expensive. I wouldn't say this skin is cheap by any means, but in comparison to how expensive it actually looks, that's why I've decided to include it. For the Tech 9, we have the Fuel Injector. Some of you may already know, the Fuel Injector skin is available for the AK, and it's very expensive. However, for the Tech 9, it's so much cheaper. So therefore, I think it's an expensive looking skin, and at the same time, it looks really good. For the Deeg, we have the Light Rail. I feel like this is a fairly underrated skin, because we've got some 3D effects of notches in the skin, as well as a yellowy orange fade on the tip. I can't quite work out why this skin is so cheap for how good it looks, but regardless, it's a decent skin. For the USP, we have the Cortex. Again with this one, I wouldn't by any means say that it's that cheap of a skin. The price you pay for such a good skin is fairly overwhelming. There's a lot of attention to detail on this skin, and I think that's probably why it's one of my favourites. And lastly, we have the UMP Primal Sabre. I can quite comfortably say this is probably one of the best skin designs we've seen in a very long time. There's just so much detail going on with this skin, and especially the 3D effects to it as well. If you compare the price of this skin with how good it looks, you can see why it's such a good deal. Now, before I end the video, I just want to disclaim that I didn't include any Glock 18 skins, just because there's just so much choice. 
and I think for most people like there's so many options it's entirely up to you at the end of the day. We also didn't include any Famas or Galil skins so I feel there aren't that many that look more valuable than they are and the same goes for a lot of the SMGs as well. But yeah anyway I hope after watching this video you guys have some new ideas for skins that you want to buy for your loadout and if this video helps you I'd really appreciate it if you'd smash the like and subscribe button as it helps way more than you guys realise. Make sure you check out my Discord server as we're giving away a lot of extra skins as well that not a lot of people know about. So link for that will be in the description. Anyway, that's it for today's video guys. I'll see you in the very next video. Peace.